Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna give you a tour of my Black Anna Compact Binder. This is the Franklin Covey uh, Compact. Um, she's stuffed full. I'm actually waiting on the Purple Plumeria uh, Vintage Aurora in Compact. When they came on the market last fall, I did not buy it in Compact. I got it in um, uh, Classic. I got the Blue Mirage and the Purple Plumeria in Classic. And I also got the Blue Mirage in Compact because I thought that I would like it more um, because it was sort of like a tealy green, but I don't. I don't love, I, I love it, but I don't like love it, if that makes sense. So I found one, a, the pur Purple Plumeria on a buy and sell, and I'm so excited. It should be here this week. Uh, however, I, I couldn't wait. I moved out of my Pink Anna binder. It is fall now, so um, I figured I needed a break from the pink. So I redid my tabs, um, like more of a, like a purpley kind of color. I think it's going to look really nice. Um, so this doesn't do up very well. So this is why I'm looking forward to the Vintage Aurora because of the strap. There's a lot more give with the snap binder and there's only one snap. There's not much room. So if I really force it, I can stretch it. So I have personal wide inserts in here, which is why we're struggling. If I had the Franklin Covey sized inserts in here, I think it would be fine. Um, so, and also, if um, you watched, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I did order the Tanya Plans um, Victoria binder and I got the black one in compact. So I took out the fly leaf and I put that in here. So that's also adding to the bulk. If I didn't have this in here, I think it would close a lot easier. Let's test it actually. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still tight, but it's not as tight. So I'm not sure how long I will keep this in here. I really like the look of it. I also like that I can have my task cards in here and I can actually see them because they are um, they have a, a darker background. So I do enjoy that, but we'll see, we'll see. I may not keep this in here. Um, it's actually very thick. So I'm not sure if all fly leaves are. I haven't had any binders with fly leaves. So I'm not really sure. I have nothing really to compare it um, to. I do have my eye on a Moterm, personal wide Moterm rings. I haven't purchased it yet. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really loving the personal wide inserts. I love the size. It gives so much room to write. Um, and I don't see myself going back to Franklin Covey classic size inserts. But anyhow, okay. So without further ado, let's go through the tour. So this uh, boarding pass kind of trigger list for travel, um, this came in the Hey Planner Girl and Paper Test Designs Home Management um, collab that they did a while ago. Um, I'll link it below if you'd like to check that out. But um, there's these like trigger list kind of cards. So I just love how this looks. I'm actually, I will be going away um, first week of October, I'm going to Nova Scotia. So this actually will come in handy. Um, but otherwise I don't really travel that much, but I just like how that looks peeking out in the pocket here. I have business cards and stickers. So these stickers here I got from paper Panda. So these say important and those say to do. These are just various happy planner stickers that I trimmed down to fit in here. a few business cards that's me and then these are also so these are paper panda as well just in love with these colors and then these are also from that collab actually some of these yeah these are paper test designs and hey planner girl recipe card same thing actually i think these all are yes but there is also somebody her it's by um her business is called Buy the Calm Seas. I'll see if I can link it. I've ordered them from her shop through Instagram, but she sells cards for three bucks and you get like six of them or something like that. Um, so if you didn't want to do the collab, 
the whole um, home management bundle, um, you can get these cute little journaling cults. They're not exactly like this though. Um, if I see one as I'm as I'm going through this, I will I'll point it out to you. They're not identical to this, but it's the same kind of idea, like vintage looking. Okay, so I'll put those back. I have nothing in the pocket here. Um, these paper doilies came in a vintage paper pack I ordered off of Amazon. I will link it below. Each pack came with one paper doily, and I just love how it looks in my binder. This I ordered from, I believe it's Calixta Creations, and just a vintage bookmark. So I'm just obsessed, as you guys know, with the whole vintage vibe. So I put that, how did I have that? Did I have it like that? Have that in there, just peeking out. This came in the September themed Sterling Ink subscription box. So put that in there. This here is was a freebie from Crafty Brina, which is who I ordered my task cards through. And then this came with my order. I also um, purchased dashboards, tabbed, divided, sorry, tab dividers from her for my classic. So that's, I ordered all these at the same time. So I just thought since I have a, a dark background that I would put that in there. It's cute, it's flowers, vintage flowers. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and then this here is the little things. This came in my Jane's Agenda subscription box. So I put that in there. This also came from Sterling Ink in this subscription kit for September. And there's another paper doily. And this uh, Ollie Clip was a collab between Ollie Clip and Cloth and Paper when I was subscribing to um, that subscription box every month. Um, I got a few Ollie Clips from that collab. And then these task cards again are from Crafty Brina. So I use these um, for my daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly planning. And it's just the order that I do my my planning so that uh, nothing gets missed. Oh, there's so much of a glare with the lights, but that's what those are. Okay. This planner charm came from Pen, Paper, and Plans. It's my first order with her. I ordered some dashboards and isn't that so pretty? So that's where that is from. This dashboard is from Jane's Agenda. It came in my September themed subscription box. So I am doing, if I'll link it below that video. Um, hang on one sec, my husband's calling me. Hi, honey. Hi, baby, sorry, I forgot. Is it is it wings or no wings on your... It would be no wings. There there shouldn't okay. be wings, so you. I don't think you need to even worry about that. Yeah, they do have... Uh versions but i got one that uh there is one that doesn't have are you at sobeys already yeah holy holy crap okay um yeah no no wings is fine okay because they do have a they have no wings and then they have a flexi wings but it's a lot bigger package yeah no. so the one i'm gonna get you is like got 44 in them the other one's got like 62 but it's like 4.99 versus 12.99 okay yeah no just get the small one okay done and i'm all done shopping I'll oh my gosh you're so fast you better get your stuff done i'm in the middle of filming right now actually okay sorry i interrupted love okay you, love you bye okay uh yeah so um with the jane's agenda she has three different subscription boxes so you can get the cover club the monthly cover club where it comes with two of these dashboards and two of these um, as well as her lifestyle and subscription box. So you can get the cover club on its own. You can get the, the life um, planner and lifestyle subscription box on its own. Or the third option is to get them together. So that's what I did. Um, so these were, so I'll, I'll put the video below of my unboxing, um, but these were the um, half letter size. And so because I got two of them, I have one in my half letter and then I trim this one down to put in here. Same with this. And I just love how these layer. Isn't that just stunning? And the darker colors are just perfect for fall. And I made this on Canva. This is a fall themed um, dashboard. So just a bunch of images I found. Sweater weather, let's be cozy, blankets, socks, you know, coffee, uh, candles, just so pretty. So I love that. 
And then of course, this picture of me and my hubby. This was taken last summer before we bought our cottage. And it just reminds me of us like dreaming big. And we didn't know it when we took this picture that we were going to be buying our cottage. Um, so yeah, I just love that. That's us on the pier holding hands and the sun was just, just right. So I took a picture. And then that's us on the water. Okay, I made this planning routines dashboard. I'm thinking of retiring the task cards. I'm not sure yet, so stay tuned. I'm working on my 2023 um, setup right now. So I'm just this just this was just me playing around with different fonts and things. Um, you can see the margins are off, but um, yeah, so that's my planning routine. So daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. So I kind of like the idea of just having that right at the front of my planner and then I also made my own master task list um, with like you know the pink for the checkbox as you guys know I love pink it's my favorite color and I'm obsessed right now with everything vintage so I've got the typewriter font I'm just playing around with stuff um, this here is from paper test designs it's a pr uh, printable so that's, um, it's called the list, but I just put to buy. So then as I'm out and about and I think of things I need to buy, I, I put them down on here. And this here came in, this is Sterling Ink, one of those eight and a half by 11 dashboards. I trimmed down to put one in here. And this is the September themed. I love this so much. I, I don't even know if I'm going to take this out when I switch things over for October, but I just love how that layers with my dashboard. So this is a dashboard that I, so I made all new dashboards as well, um, like for dividers, divider dashboards for, um, for fall. So this one is my personal section, all about me. And then on the front, I have sort of like a table of contents, like this is what's in this section. Okay. And then these, um, are tabs I bought off of Amazon. Um, I'll link them below and I labeled them with my label maker and I bought a uh, white font on clear um because I like the white I like the white font I just love how that looks if you can see that so that's my all about me this is one of those um paper test designs hey planner girl collab self-care trigger list so it makes sense for me to put this in my section that's all about me this little clip here is from Franklin planner I like them because they're flat and they don't bulk up and they don't dent the pages um, this here is from Jane's Agenda. This came in the menstruation tracker that I used to use. So I trimmed it down to put in here. It's not perfect. It does kind of cut it off, but it is just so gorgeous. And it's too gorgeous to just sit in my half letter not being used. So I wanted this in here because it says, the fact that I am woman does not make me weak. Being a woman is my superpower. And I thought that made sense to be in my... Um, my personal section because I have health stuff in here and just everything personal and then this you might recognize from when I made my dashboards um, when I set up my contact my compact I kept this in here I love these reminders remember to breathe hydrate journal eat whole foods get proper sleep and then um, this is from the hey planner girl paper test designs collab again and it's a recipe card and I just I got this idea from I saw it on Instagram, um, I forget her name, but I thought that was a brilliant idea. So I made an ingredients list for self-care. And then this card here came in my subscription box with Jane's Agenda and I just love the flowers. It says, put yourself at the top of your to-do list every day. And then this cute little paper clip, like it's mini, it came with my subscription box as well from Jane's Agenda. So pretty. This is also from Jane's Agenda, came in my subscription box. And it's a page um, finder and it's, I love the color and it's a quote from Selma Hayek. Um, it's about beauty being in the eye of the beholder. Oh, it's just stunning. It's gorgeous. I love it. Medication log. This is from Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl. I might take this out because the only medication that I take is thyroid medication. And I take it first thing every morning. I don't need to write anything down. I thought I would use it for vitamins and things, but I haven't been. Um, but that's there. Health log. I've been using this for my cycle, but you can use it for whatever you want. And I'm in uh, perimenopause, if you must know. Um, so I track 
based on what day of my cycle that I'm on, um, the symptoms that I feel. So when I go to a doctor's appointment, for example, I just saw an endocrinologist last week. I was able to pull this out and show all the symptoms. So she was great. She took the time to um, explain what's normal, what's not normal based on my thyroid levels and what's hormonal, what's due to the thyroid medication, etc. So anyway, so just got a couple of those. I'm going to be making my own version of these um, for 2023. And then doctor's visits, I'm going to be making my own version of these as well. But this is from Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl. This is part of their, these are part of their home management. Um, so I love the idea of a doctor's visit. So tracking your doctor's visits, I just find it's not enough room. So I'm going to make my own and probably have like room for just two. This has three. So I think I might change it to two because this was my last appointment and I, was, I had to write so small to try and fit everything in. And then appointment log. So I really like this. This is a neat idea. This is also from that same home management collab. And just keeping track instead of having to go through a calendar. So these are all personal appointments. I don't put any work appointments on here. It's appointment log. Um, and so these are all just personal related appointments like could be a doctor's appointment could be a massage physiotherapy whatever and so just doing the different color too helps me see like all the appointments i have in september these were july and then check them off if if they happened so uh, that's a neat idea i like that and then doctor's information contacts um a reading log this is from sm plans it's a printable so I love that. I want to get a lot more into reading and I want to keep track. I might make my own and do like a reading log or podcast log because I do listen to a lot of podcasts when I drive or when I'm exercising. So I'd like to keep track of those. Um, printable from SM Plans, the florals. I love these. I love these so much. So I just made this into a wish list. And then like planner shops, printable um, shops that I want to remember. And then I just have some personal notes in here from, I did a human design course. So, I mean, I have a lot more notes on my iPad, but I just wanted some notes in here so that when I'm on the go, I can refer to this. Um, so that's that. And again, more of these um, pages. I printed them, like I cut them a little shorter. These are personal wide and I cut them too short, but whatever. It, it is bothering me that I have some pages that are shorter than others. So when I set things up for next year, I'm gonna make sure that everything is um, the same size. This is from the, sept no, August themed Jane's Agenda subscription. How beautiful is that? Idyllic. And it layers so beautifully with this rose dashboard. So this came in the half letter and I trimmed it down. I, did, I didn't need it. I have so much for my half letter. I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to trim it and I'm going to put it in my compact. And I'm thinking maybe changing sizes for my subscription box. Um, somebody at Jane's Agenda let me know that the B6 size is quite similar to Personal Wide. They don't do Personal Wide exactly. So they, they said that their closest is B6. So we'll see. Um, this came in that collab. It's a finances sort of trigger list. So I like that. Um, and so I put this in here just to kind of divide like personal stuff and then we're getting into, and it's not really finances. My husband and I track things digitally. This is just me tracking my spending. So this is an online order tracker from, um, SM plans. So this is, and you can see majority of my orders are planner related stuff. Oh, I did order a curling wand there. Um, and Mark Jacobs tote and smash and tests, which are. If you guys aren't familiar with Smash and Tess, you must look her up. Their rompers are, oh my gosh, the softest material. This came, oh gosh, she doesn't, she didn't put her name on here. I forget. Elizabeth something or other, but she offers free printables. I'll put her, I'll tag her shop. I'm gonna have to make a list of all the, the shops I said I'm gonna tag. Um, I'm not, like I tried it, but I... Kind of prefer this one um so but anyways that's that's what that is this is from jane's agenda 
I did have it punched for my half letter. I trimmed it so that I could have one in here. Um, so it's not perfect, but it's still good enough for me to find. This is my no spend tracker. I haven't filled it out yet for September. I have a planner conference I'm going to September 30th in Toronto and I've been doing no spend. I did one in August and September. I think I may have even done one in July because the goal is to not spend money on planner supplies because I'm going to the planner conference. Um, but I like these. So that's what that is. So I just put the date and then the days of the week and I just circle it with a highlighter each month that I don't spend money on planner supplies. And then this is like your exceptions, like what are your non-negotiables that you do have to spend money on. And then if I do buy something planner related, I write down why. <laughs> Helps to keep me accountable. Okay, and then these are cloth and paper. Cloth and paper does do personal wide and these are the executive style note-taking inserts. Just got one of those there. So now we're moving into my CEO section. Okay, again, I made these on Canva. This came from that um, vintage paper pack from Amazon. And I just liked how that looked. And so this is that Hey Planner Girl collab with Paper Test Design. So this is contacts. So this is my CEO section. So what I do is I put like a, this person's a contractor. The, they're, these are both contractors. So before I put them on my my affiliate list to refer to clients, I just put their info down on here and I research them before I um, make them an actual referral. Passwords. I have passwords in my compact or in my classic, which I might just keep there because if I'm carrying this out and about, I don't want somebody to get a hold of my my business passwords. So I think I'm gonna probably take that out. And then I made this on Canva. So my weekly 411 that I have with my team. This is for me to write notes um, from that. And then this is paper test designs um, note taking sheets. I really like these. Actually, you just check off what kind of notes they are, like idea, meeting, project, sketch, and so on. Okay, and this is the same one here I use for a coaching call. And yes, it's just CEO work-related things. This is from pa Pen, Paper, and Plans Vintage Floral Dashboard. It's just stunning. I love it. So I layered it with my goals tab here, my goals um, section. This is also from Pen, Paper, and Plans. Just so pretty. And this is from my Jane's Agenda subscription box. I love those florals. These are sticky notes. And then my quarterly goal planning inserts. I made these myself on Canva. These may look familiar to you because they're in my um, compact, or my, gosh, my classic. But I like to have it on hand so when I'm out and about, I can refer to my goals. So that's why I have them in here. And, and then just social media ideas on the paper test designs, note taking sheets. This is another pen, paper and plans dashboard, um, vintage floral, so gorgeous. Really thick vellum too, I like it. This is my schedule section. Okay, oh, it's, <laughs> it's a note my husband wrote me. I kept it, so cute. One day I opened up my planner um, it was on my my weekly layout, and it was there. It was so cute. He knows he's not allowed to touch my planner, so the fact that he did that was adorable. Um, yeah, and then these are from Cloth and Paper Sticky Notes. This was from Pen Paper and Plans, I think. Yes, um, and I just loved the little envelope so much. I punched holes in it and put it in here, um, and I have some stickers in there. It's uh, just the the white polka dots. It's just so cute. So I kept that. This is from Jane's Agenda, personal size. So you can see it's quite a bit narrow, but I just love the vintage newspaper look. And I thought that suited this quite well. This is from that paper pack from Amazon. This is also from that paper pack in, in Amazon, has a, a vellum in there. So I layered it. This I made myself on Canva, printed it on vellum. And then this is from Roro Designs. Okay, this is also from Roro Designs. And then this is the 
Um, this is the tour card in my Jane's Agenda subscription box, but I just put black tissue paper over the back because I didn't need to see what was in the subscription box, but oh, these florals are just so stunning. So I put that in there at the beginning of my September. This is from Calixta Creations, the Rose Dashboard. It's personal wide and it does have the tab, um, but it is like, it doesn't stick up. It, it's flush with my inserts and probably because when I make my personal wide inserts, I do 4.75 by seven inches. I like them to be taller. So that's probably my doing. If these were with the regular, um, then they would stick up. I make, I make them taller, but that's okay. It's still beautiful. I love how it layers. Um, so I made this cover page. So these inserts here, I made myself on Canva. I'm playing around because I plan on making my own for 2023. I don't plan on spending any money on inserts. I change my mind so often and I've wasted a lot of money this year. So um, yeah, I'm taking a course right now for real estate, but it's actually helping me with planners because I'm learning so much on Canva for marketing. Um, so yeah, I'm learning so much about about Canva. It's, it's so cool. So this is my September cover page. So I have this month's closings, birthdays, and anniversaries for the month, and then my current projects, and then upcoming. And then here's my month on two pages. I will, I've already revised this because you don't really know until you print it out. It's a little too dark. So I've changed the color to be more of a darker gray instead of black. Um, yeah, so I put a quote up here on the top quote or an affirmation. I love that. My master task list, you can see, I do not like how this looks. It's too busy. And that highlighter is way too dark. So, and then here's my October. And November. And I just did little, like little designs. Um, and then this is December. And now we're getting into my uh, my day on one page um, for the week. So what I did is at the beginning of my day on one page, I did a weekly task list. I've been missing that. I don't have a weekly task list and I've been missing that. So um, I have my weekly task list here for the, for the week. And then I have my AM routine, PM routine. These are empty um, so that I can use those for whatever I want. So it could be work related. Like I set a goal to contact this many people a week, um, book this many appointments or whatever, or, you know, break it down per day and then I can check it off. So I left that open um, to do with as I wish. And then down here I put week of because these are undated. So, and then on the top, I just did the day of the week. I'm a Monday start person. So I just did the day of the week and then I'll just hand write the date in myself. Um, on the left is the schedule and on the right is my tasks. I do like the grid. I'm really, I love the Hobonichi style. Um, and so this was sort of a play on that, except the times I didn't, I didn't do the military time. I did them regular. So eight in the morning till one in the morning um, for me. And then my top three tasks on the top and I have pink boxes to check them off. And then my, my tasks. And then I just did a little decorating there with some new washi that I got. So I, again, I've already redone these because it's, it's too dark. I need the, I need the, the lines to be lighter. Um, but for my first try, I think it's not bad. Jane's agenda, page lift or page finder. And then that's one week. And then we go into the next, oh, this is my week recap. So that's another thing I've been missing is having a spot to do my week recap. So I have here my activity and then my collectively my team. Again, I've revised this. So this has Tyler's, but I'm changing that to just where we are as a team. So this is my numbers. And then this is where my, where we are as a team. So contacts, leads, appointments booked, appointments held, con contract signed and firm deals, actual versus goal and the difference. And then a spot for notes. So, and then we go into the next week and so on. So I have enough for the whole month of September in here. Oops. And then I have my week on two pages, week at a glance. Okay, so I have week of on the top. Again, I have them dated Monday to, uh, Monday to Saturday. And then my top three focuses each day. 
and then just I don't need tasks um, so it's just one of my top three focuses so when I am looking at my week at a glance I see everything and then 8 until 10 p.m. as for the times I need that hourly layout to um, you know to time block during my busy season of work I need the time blocking so I haven't done anything with these yet for September. Um, I'm probably not going to start them yet. Um, we shall see, but it's because I'm not, not very busy for various reasons right now. And then on the back of each week, I have a spot for notes. Oh, sorry. So here's how, here's how it goes. So I have a month of my week at a glance. And the very last page of the month, I have notes in case I want to take any notes. Okay, next section is notes. So this is Sterling Ink as well. This came in my subscription kit from last month. Just love the colors. They complement this dashboard so nicely. This is my brain dump and notes. This is from Pen, Paper, and Plans. These came in a subscription box from Jane's Agenda. I love the craft paper. It's vintage. Very vintage. This came in that um, vintage paper pack from uh, Amazon, and so did this. I really, actually, what's really cool about this? So this is in my notes section, and I put this in here because it's specimens of handwriting. So this is from I don't have my glasses on, but this I think is from the 1930s, and it's really cool. It shows old style, new style for cursive writing. Like so cool. So I thought that was appropriate for my notes section. And it's really neat to look at to see how fancy people used to write back in the day. Okay, and so it's just notes and brain. That's exactly what it is. So I'll do market notes um, before I film a market update video. Um, this is me doing a brain dump on my planner sections for 2023. Um, back to the things for my, my business. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a side hustle for planning. Not ready to announce anything with that yet, but those are just notes, inserts to make. Um, and then I'm also thinking of doing something for real estate. It's a project I'm working on, so just notes. These are from Cloth and Paper. I really like these, these notes, pages, and that's, I think, kind of all I have in there. Goal planning type of things in here. Um, we have redone our tracking system, so this is just notes. Me figuring out what my routines are. Um, this is from Jane's Agenda, same as what's on the front with the gold peonies, so gorgeous. Okay, my project section. This is from Sterling Inc. I love the black and white. This is from that paper pack from Amazon. And then I made a master project list. I haven't used these yet. I just made them. I just printed them. Project planner insert. So my idea with the pro master project list is there's four sections here to identify where the project goes. So, so home, we always have home or cottage projects, um, business, uh, could be my hobby, um, could be wellness, whatever. And then I number them down the side and then I put what the project is and what category it goes under and then my project planner inserts go with it so it's project number so let's say it's number five project number five and then what the project is the date that I started it the date I ended it what's the purpose of the project like how's it going to enhance that area of my life and then the steps to get there and then check them off as those steps are done so that's my idea so far um, and then more executive style note taking sheets from cloth and paper. These are from SM plans. They're the half sheet. So I haven't used them yet. Just love them. They're so pretty. Um, I thought these would be good for like grocery lists or just lists in general. And then this here is from Franklin planner. It's, um, like a folder. It's exactly what it is. It's a folder. So you can see the difference in size with the Franklin Covey, um, compact size it's just too narrow for me for for writing space but in here I have some sweet caress design stickers these are good to notate when I have a zoom meeting these are from paper papery planning she does custom stickers so um these say follow-up calls 411 meeting I also have listing appointments and buyer appointments so those are cool and then these are more from paper test designs 
um, Hey Planner Girl collab. These are from By the Calm Seas. You can see, hopefully see that on the bottom. So you can print them in white and in this um, kind of brownie beige color. So still vintage looking. So I like that. I like. I haven't figured out how to use these yet, but just so cute. And then more paper test designs. Hey Planner Girl. So I have these in here. And then an expense envelope. So when I'm out shopping, I put the receipt in here in case it's something that we need to, like for example, this one here was June 27th. So then I know when the last time is we had our, our um, septic pumped or it's a holding tank. Um, so we usually get it done three or four times a year. It just depends on how long we're here. So I keep that in there. So if it looks like it's getting full, I can take a look back and see indigo just in case there's anything I need to take back and whatever see how much something costs and this is from Franklin Planner it's a zipper pouch so these I bought from Walmart these sticky notes oh, stuck in there real good there we go to do today goals I like the checklist in the lines and then this here is from Jane's Agenda little journaling card this was this is a requisition from my blood requisition from my endocrinologist appointment I have to put that away um, this clear page lifter is from um, Tanya plans you cannot order the clear page lifters separately from Franklin planner um, and I prefer the clear I don't really like the black ones anymore so I ordered this from Tanya Plants. Very thick, good material. Does does the job. And then this is a um, repositionable, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? Anyways, it's from Cloth and Paper. And I just put that in. There's a picture of me and my hubby having a little smooch as we're watching the full moon rise um, this past summer. And then this here is from my, I had a girls weekend with my best friends. And... Um, we took a picture with my Polaroid camera, my new Fujifilm Instax. Um, it was really cool. It's actually funny. We were trying to take a, do it in selfie mode, which is not easy when you can't see yourself. And there was a lady at a table next to us. Oh, would you want me to take that for you? And she was an older lady, so she knew exactly what the Polaroid was. She loved it. She was like, this is so cool. Um, this ruler here I bought from Indigo, but you can order it, on, order it online. I have it linked. I will have it linked below. It's for bullet journaling, um, but it's like metal. Really good. I love it. I love this ruler. And then just more stickers here. Paper Panda. Paper Panda to do stickers. My teardrop stickers. I love Paper Panda stickers. These are from my planner conference I went to back in 2019. And you know what? They've just been sitting in my binder. And I thought, I'm bringing these and I'm going to use them for my planning. Like, look how pretty those are from uncommon plans i think these are canadian planner shops so these ones i have used in the past yeah just really pretty really cool stuff here and then these i love they're from plannerbomb.com these are like vinyl stickers they are the best quality so i'm not gonna say what that says but you can read it it's different colors adulting so it's like F adulting today. So just on those days that you're just not feeling it, it's nice to put that sticker down. It makes me laugh. And then it's been so hot, like it does not feel like fall yet. So hot AF. I have some that are for cold, like cold AF. So I brought these ones to decorate for next week. I'll put those in after. And then this is a Sarasa dry pen. One of my favorites. It's small. Um, I've been, I have my Pentel it's a thicker barrel and I it there's this binder won't close with that in here so um that's why I have that one in there and then in the back pocket I have oh these are tabbed this is what I use what I've been using for my tabs and my binder these are from Amazon I'll link them below if you're interested and then just various stickers happy planner some from Michael's um post sticky notes from cloth and paint just random stuff more paper panda stickers 
and cleaning wipes for my glasses. So, and this thing is just packed full of stuff because I take this literally everywhere. And if I want to plan on the go, or let's say we're running errands and Ryan goes into a store and I just want to sit in the car. I like to sit in the car with the windows down, and with the sun shining, and I'll just plan. And it's just nice to have stuff with me um, so that I can do that. So that is a detailed tour of my Franklin Covey Compact. When I do get my vintage Aurora, it's probably not going to change so much. Um, but it's been a little while. I think I've been in this for, when's the last time I did a um, a compact video. It's been a while. So I just want to update you guys so that you can see it's still going strong. I'm loving this. I'm not really using my classic. Um, I have been using it in tandem with this, like my heavy duty planning is in that one, but um, this is my everyday and I'm loving it. And as I'm brainstorming on what I'm going to be doing for 2023, this is pr pretty much going to be a full planner and um, I probably still will use the classic. I'm thinking of ways to make that work. So stay tuned. I'll update you guys as I progress with my planning journey. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the smaller size. I never thought I would. And I am I feel like I finally have planner piece. So I hope that was enjoyable for you. I will link, um, as probably try and link everything I can below. Um, for Jane's agenda, um, there is a, if it's your first time ordering, um, you can get 15% off your first order, not on the subscriptions, but on the regular stuff. And if you are in a half letter Franklin Covey, she does offer half letter unpunched for you. Um, yeah, but if it's not your first time and you do want to support me, I am an affiliate with um, Jane's agenda. So there is a second um, link you'll see in the description and I get a small commission um, at no cost to you. All right, so let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.